Hello everybody and welcome back to Fortress Camelot. Yeah, um, how, how should I start this video? Because basically um, uh, there's been a lot of things happening in the past few days and uh, even though this video just comes out one day uh, later than usually, so it's Sunday today and yesterday would, be, would have been the Saturday where it usually comes out. Um, you know, I, I got some new parts for my computer and these are very cool new parts, I have to say. I got an i7 uh, 8700K, which is basically the best i7 you can get right now if you, yeah, well, if you don't want to spend uh, nearly a thousand euros for an i9, which I don't want to do. So uh, I got this one, very fortunate to get this on a very low um, fare, so I, uh, yeah, I just, yeah. I was, you know, I wanted to have something new and uh, I, I was uh, hesitating for a long time. Uh, I wasn't that happy with my old one because, you know, um, I, I tend to play a lot of games uh, simulation related, which means that the CPU is by far the most important thing in your computer. And so I uh, basically, yeah, needed to do... Uh, yeah, well, no, not to do, but I needed to think a long time about this because, you know, money-wise, it's not too easy for me. Also because of the marriage this year, it's, or the wedding, I have to say. Um, but on the other hand side, um, all the money I made out of YouTube, I have on a separate uh, account. So I, I looked into it and I was like, okay, you know what, you don't really have to pay that much taxes this year because university took so much of my money that I don't want to, I don't need to to pay so many taxes because um, the money I spend into university will by far outweigh all the taxes I have to pay so I don't need to worry too much about this and so at the end of the day I uh, took all the money I made from YouTube uh, within the last one and a half years which is not that much actually but um, I it was enough to buy at least uh, a new CPU which was as I said the i7 8700K and alongside this I have a very great new mainboard which is the uh, don't get me wrong it's I, the Asus uh, Rock F uh, 730 gaming or something wait get, let me let me just get that manual thing over here uh, no it's the Rock Strix uh, Z 370F gaming motherboard which I heard is also a very good one anyways um, oh I have to update then my uh, description as well I've totally forgot that so I will definitely need to do this uh, anyhow, that's just for explanation and so hence um, it's that I couldn't really do anything with my computer. I had a lot of issues building it together. Um, at the end of the day there was one thing um, me and my brother we really didn't notice. Um, so everything was fine. I uh, put everything together just fine. Everything worked and uh, I had some blue screens out of nowhere and they were totally, you know, um, they, they didn't have really a rhythm or a rule or anything to them. There was not that it was always like 15 minutes after starting or whatsoever. It was totally random. And what we didn't notice because we th we didn't really thought of it was um, the speed of the the CPU. So normally it's a six core uh, CPU which then runs on a 12 core, so six uh, actual cores and and. Um, six virtual ones and normally the basis speed is on uh, 3700 megahertz and the funny thing was my CPU was set to 4900 uh, megahertz which is way way over the top and uh, we didn't really notice that because we didn't even thought of it um, at the beginning and my brother just noticed that w one, once we were looking at the temperatures, he was like, wait a second, why is the computer going at 5 gigahertz at the moment? And I was like, well, I didn't change a thing. And so the guy I, uh, I bought this from, uh, I uh, seemed to have this one overclocked, like, yeah, crazy. And in the end of the day, uh, it was basically this issue. So we put it now back to 3.7 gigahertz, which is by far enough at the moment because multi-threading really does the thing. Um, and the performance is way better now for me. Well, not in Planet Coaster, unfortunately. It is way better in every other game. It is way better in Koali Beach, which I tested. But in the newer parks, it doesn't really change the thing, which is very disappointing, I have to say. I also got in touch with uh, the uh, support of Planet Coaster. I, they are still working on, on some issues and I don't really know what it is. I have no clue at all. So I had um, 22 FPS in Camel Kingdom before I changed the CPU and now I have 23 FPS and 
it's weird because Koali Beach before was at well something around 7 FPS at paused mode without any guests and with guests it was at 5 FPS I guess and you know and now it is at 3100 uh, 3, guests and in play mode I have about 28 to 30 FPS which is crazy it's amazing it's like really I, I just opened the thing and I was like wait a second this is Kuali Beach it's so smooth it's so great and you know it was really really cool and then again it really doesn't change too much in the newer parks so I believe they really have an issue with some newer pieces or I don't know I have no clue what this is because you know this park here the the, the Camel Kingdom medieval area park whatever it is by far not at the piece of amount of pieces what Quali Beach had. It didn't even even have so, has so many um, operating systems and stuff. Uh, we don't really have that much. Well, we actually have no guests in here. So usually the performance should at least be at the same level at Quali Beach. And in post, I got about 33, uh, 34, 33, 35. I don't know FPS and yeah. It's just ridiculous. I have no idea what it is. I hope that will be fixed in the future because, you know, if it's if it's staying this way, I really have to think about if it's possible to go on with Camel Kingdom at all because that's, you know, really disappointing. Um, same goes, by the way, for uh, the Camel Studios. Like, this is really the most weird part of all. Um, I have only 7,000 pieces in this park and no guests and I have about 25 FPS, it's ridiculous. Uh, and you know, my, my graphics card is also, it shouldn't be a problem at all. My, my graphics card is a, a GTX 970. I know it's, it's not the best out there, but it's still the beast. And no matter which game I do play with this one, it does rock everything you know at a very nice frame rate and I have no issues at all also City Skylines which I'm playing a lot at the moment as well is having had a brilliant boost now out of it out of the new CPU so yeah all in all I really hope that uh, this this really <laughs> gets fixed with a future update they are working on it um, they are gathering all the information they can forums are filled with infos but yeah so guys um, over seven and a half minutes now on into this video I just updated you on, on the stuff which has been going on and I feel it's it's a good point in time to go back to what I'm actually doing in this episode. So last episode we started um, building this little kitchen area over here and uh, in all honesty I lost a little bit of it uh, so I needed to rebuild it that's what you saw at the beginning of the video and now I'm really <coughs> I'm really trying to, to bring this all together. It's not finished after all, but the basis is done in this episode. So uh, I will do some little tweaks here and there and I will actually clean the mess up a little bit because, wow, it's really messy in in there. And I should really talk about one thing that, that you guys have been mentioning. So one big issue we still have is that the coaster is going through this whole thing four times. So yes, it will be very loud, it will be very disturbing for the guests in there. Um, I mean, I do know a, a restaurant which is Pirates of the Caribbean restaurant in just in Paris, but yeah, I mean, that's a boat tour, which is by far not that loud. Uh, so I, I believe there was one great idea in the comments which have been mentioned a lot of times is putting glass in between as you have seen I already put some of the chain fences in between to have the security nets kind of resembled in there um, but I guess putting glass in between would be also a nice idea I don't really know if I do it maybe to save some FPS and stuff I will leave it but let's just imagine there is also glass in between um, which prevents the sound a little bit or just you know makes the whole thing a little bit more enjoyable uh, but what you can see here over there is um, I'm not quite sure if it's going to work out the way I want it but I will place an ATM into this queue line and uh, this fake queue line I, I am not sure if it's going to work so Basically what I tested recently is how the guests do behave um, going to a shop. So they always will look for the very shortest way to the shop. And so if you if you make the entrance way shorter than the exit, um, it always works that people go through the barriers as they really are queuing up. They go to the shop, get their food and they will move out over the other way around. If, and that's the next point, if you have some bins and benches, 
really next to the exit so that the shortest way again for them then is to go to the seating area. So that's that's kind of working pretty well, but it it doesn't really work for this point over here, so I, I try to actually at least make this fake queue line so that actually it looks like the open kitchen area is really where you have to get, get some stuff. I will have to go into it a little bit more with detail, we need to have some menu cards and stuff, but you know, um, one thing I really wanted to do as well is what you can see over here is like a little reception area where we have this knight standing in front of this little sequencer which should resemble um, the little thing where you can you know, just get the data of your guests and then put them uh, onto the table, which is free, and uh, as you have it in a restaurant, quite often. Um, even though this restaurant is more like a casual one, it's, it's more like a little bit faster, so it's not the, the restaurant where you, which still has opened once the park is closed as well, because you, you do often have those um, kind of nicer restaurants in uh, theme parks, which do have open, uh, which still have open um, after the park in general has closed so that guests can go there but anyways um, that's that's not the case in here this is just like a restaurant which has opened um, at daytime and that's how it is and yeah as you can see over here I wanted to have also an outside area and I was struggling a lot with the pass layout it was weird <laughs> it was really weird um, I don't even know what that was a weird pronunciation anyways um, I wanted to have a little bit of space left to make um, the bins and benches area over there as well. Um, just as an idea, if guests want to sit down and all the sitting places on the benches inside would be filled, they potentially would go outside and then we would have the case that the shortest way to leave is around this corner and the shortest way to enter would be through the queue line. I have no idea if that's going to work out guys, I have absolutely no clue. Um, but yeah, I will I will definitely try out if it's going to work out or not. But yeah, uh, just a general idea to make this all a little bit more nice. Uh, but anyways. So, um, one last thing I wanted to talk about is the fact that I uh, noticed that the comments are getting a little bit more silent, I guess, recently. Which I can understand, you know, the hype uh, with the studios pack is over and... We are back to normal, uh, so I want to have now a little bit more traffic again, and that's why I want to know, guys, what is your favorite coaster you have ever ridden, and um, why? Explain me why, and I am going to use this because I want to go back to our coaster as well, and I'm going to try the the most uh, the coaster which has been named most often will be inspiration for the next our coaster one. But anyways. For now, that should be it. Have a great one, guys. And as always, like the video, hit the some up button whatsoever. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, of course, for more quality content, as this video was not. Hashtag not. Whatever. Uh, have a good one, guys. And uh, see you soon, hopefully, if my setup now um, yeah, won't stop me from doing videos again. So have a good one, guys. And see you then. Bye-bye.